Nails on a chalkboard. Everybody hates it. Why? Ahem. <clears throat> I've experienced it, and I can tell you it's because it's loud. Obviously. Wow. You are so smart. You must get all the good grades at your school that can't afford to update its classrooms with a non-toxic writing method. But no, it's not just that it's loud. It's so much more interesting than that. Case in point, two musicologists. These peeps wanted to find the definitive answer, so they started looking at the physical and psychological reactions of a variety of unpleasant sounds. One of which was nails on a chalkboard. Because I mean really, nothing is quite as viscerally bad as that. Except for maybe people chewing with their mouths open. Uh, so they measured people's vital signs when having them listen to the sounds, and also would either tell them what the sound actually was, or they told them that it was part of a musical composition. This way, they could also look at the psychological aspects, and my goodness, there was a pretty surprisingly sizable psychological aspect. Because when the participants ranked how bad the sound was, they always said it was worse when they actually knew what it was. Context is important for our brains, but it's more than just what they perceived to be unbearable, as they actually had worse physical reactions too when they knew the truth. Their skin literally crawled more, and their skin conductivity changed. <laughs> so physical reactions to such sounds are very real, and context can sometimes make them worse, which is very strange. It's like it's just a sound. Is the sound is the sound, no matter what it comes from. But now, knowing what the sound's from, and knowing that it's previously been bad, there's a whole bunch of psychology stuff we could go into. But for now, the important thing is that they confirmed this pain is real. But why is it real? So as it turns out, our ears are very strange looking. I mean, when you really think about it, I mean, look at this. What the heck? Some aliens are going to land on the planet and think that our ears are super weird. You know? You ever think about that? Like, earless aliens landing, and just like, what in the world? It, it, it's weird as if, it's just as weird as aliens with antennas would be to us, you know? But this design happens to amplify sounds that are between 2000 and 4000 hertz, which just so happens to be the frequency that typical human speech falls into, which is likely why our ears are this way, so we can better hear each other. We are a very social species after all. And that also happens to be part of the range of frequencies that nails on a chalkboard falls into, though also above and below, all at once. <coughs> but what was especially interesting, using audio editing science stuff, they filtered out that frequency of the chalkboard sound, but left the rest untouched. And suddenly, the listeners had little to no issue listening to the sound at all. It just sounds like a screech, but it's not painful of a screech anymore. Leading to the conclusion that the reason these sounds become painful is because our ear structures cause these frequencies to be amplified. Our brains do it too. After all, it's the frequency of human speech. That's pretty important for a species as social as ours. So the sound goes from being annoying to painful because of our very own biology and neurology. And as much as that stinks, that's also pretty flippin' cool. I love human physiology. Which is why this channel will likely cover that more than anything, so subscribe if that kind of thing interests you. Anywho, new insults. Go scratch a chalkboard, you marsupial. Don't know where the marsupial part comes in, but whatever. Thanks for watching, and keep on learning on. Here's some other videos. They have nothing to do with this one, because we're still early in the channel.